Hey, this is Josh with New Review coming at you with a new review on the for the new season of The Fosters. Uh, so it picks up literally right where it left off uh, with uh, everyone uh, running with everyone in the church trying to uh, stave off de uh, deportation uh, for God damn it! What was her name again? Well, trying to stay off of a deportation of one of our hero's friends, uh, who happens to be uh, a DACA recipient. Um, however, her parents aren't so lucky. Her sister, who is a citizen, gets to stay, uh, but she's put in uh, the foster system because sister, who is technically her guardian, can't take uh, custody of her because if she leaves the church she gets arrested and then deported uh, uh, AJ and Kelly nearly uh, also have the possibility of getting arrested by the FBI for uh, holding up a deportation uh, this is actually really um, good commentary I think kind of talking about how a lot of people who, under the Obama administration, wouldn't have been deported are now getting deported under the Trump administration, uh, who are, instead of going after actual criminals, are just going after people who, who are trying to get a better life for their family. Um, so everyone's trying to deal with that, uh, except for Brandon, who... Um, is uh, concerned with his girlfriend, uh, who has leukemia. And he's trying to do what he can to make her life a little easier. Um, trying to uh, just be someone to talk to for for her. Um, since she's going through a scary thing. Uh, although her mom is there to kind of help out. Um, and Mariana is trying to save the school. Uh, because... Uh, just like uh, last season, it was about to be turned. It's about to be turned into a private school. Uh, but yeah, um, Callie is also uh, taking a leap, planning to apply to art school in San Diego um, uh, to pursue her art along with AJ, uh, her boyfriend, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Um, he's also being supportive. Uh, and I really like that they're having uh, strong, positive uh, members of not only the uh, lesbian and gay community in the series with uh, Jude, Steph, and Lena, but also strong members of the transgender community in this series. It's This is how we improve uh, with social commentary uh, the view of people from minority communities, um, just to show that they're just like everybody else. Um, and Jude is uh, also a, a gamer who's also a streamer and he's going through some career opportunities however he's a little iffy about not being with his friend uh, in the streaming uh, of, the, of the game they're playing uh, but the guy that the company wants Jude to stream with uh, he seems to be able to pull some strings and that's good um, additionally Jesus is going through some things because he has TBI. He now has a paraprofessional. To be honest, the guy's kind of a dick. Um, and he's feeling left out. He's feeling like they don't think he can do things. And they're trying They're trying the best. They're parents. They're trying to do what they think is right. I kind of get it, seeing as I, uh, as I am the child of a parent and I realize as an adult now they are just trying to do what they think is best for their child um, and yeah things are just getting tougher and tougher and um, our good old DACA friend uh, she needs to leave the church to deal with her status but uh, like I said earlier if she leaves the church she could be deported um, her parents are detained right now about to be deported probably um, and yeah, that's that's where episode two really leaves us off. Oh, and um, we're reintroduced to Nick, whose dad is trying to 
turn Anchor Beach into a private school. And yeah, I'm kind of excited to see how the season goes the rest of the way. Uh, I am recording this before episode three of the, the third episode of the uh, season is uh, uh, airing. Um, the winter season is airing. So this will be a little behind. Uh, this is Josh Wazella with New Review signing off.